वेलकम टू दी प्रोडक्ट डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ स्मार्ट हाइब्रिड एनर्जी मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम यूजिंग आर्डिनो इन दिस प्रोडक्ट वी आर यूजिंग आर्डिनो यूनो माइक्रो कंट्रोलर एंड ब्लूटूथ मॉड्यूल एंड एल सी डी डिस्प्ले सो वी आर यूजिंग ट्वेंटी बाई फोर एल सी डी डिस्प्ले एट द सेम टाइम वी आर यूजिंग ए इन्वर्टर एंड स्विच बोर्ड एंड ऑल्सो यूजिंग ए रेक्टिफायर सर्क्यूट बोर्ड एंड टू स्विचेस एंड ऑल्सो यूजिंग ए ट्रैक टी सी बी एंड ट्वेल्व वर्ल्स वन एंड बैटरी and three uh, load bulbs and here we can see each bulb will be show the load values and also we are using a two transformers and one bridge rectifier so we are providing the power supply through this power cable it takes 230 volts power supply that will be given to this bridge rectifier at the same time we are giving parallel connection to this two transformer so we are considering this uh, uh, project we have it three sources for this project one is a grid source one is a grid source another is a solar source and another is a uh, battery source i will show you the flowchart of this project so here we can see this is the flowchart of this project so here we can see the main aim of this project so the load will be works on the different sources so whenever the solar source is not available so load will be works on the grid and the battery whenever the uh, grid and solar source will be not available it will be works on the battery source so based on that uh, if any source is not available then it will be works on an one source so here we can see for the solar source uh, solar source so here we can see high normal low loads will be uh, works and coming to the grid so whenever the grid is operate the system so here we can see peak hours whenever it is yes so the high load and normal load will be works and the peak uh, hours is no then high normal low loads will be works and coming to the battery whenever the battery percentage is less than 40 so this is the 40 whenever the battery charge is less than 40 so it is yes so we uh, here we can see high and normal load will be works whenever the a uh, uh, battery charge is more than 40 then high normal and low loads will be works so these these three are the three sources solar grid battery so coming to this in, in this project so this is the grid transformer solar transformer and this is the battery so the 230 volts will be given to these two transformers then it will be step down up to 12 volts of dc that 12 volts of dc will be given to this Uh, sorry that 12 volts of ac it will step down up to 12 volts of ac that 12 volts ac will be given to this rectifier through this switches so he, we have mentioned here this is the solar switch and this is a grid switch so we can see these these two connections will be connected to this rectifier so here we can see these are rectifiers is which takes 12 volts ac and it will be converted into 5 volts of dc using this potential divider resistors and also here we can see we are giving the solar Uh, sorry battery switch to this uh, board and also it will take the readings of the battery voltage using the potential divider resistors so using this potential divider we are taking the reading of the solar grid and battery readings to this arduino you know so based on that whenever the solar is not available so the system will be works on the grid and the battery so whenever the grid is not works then it will be works on the battery connection only now i will show you now i am giving the power supply right now so in the display we can see here so it, uh, it is showing so in the system is in works on the solar so when i the, when i uh, stop this switch so here we can see it will be system will be works on the grid whenever the grid switch is also works down and also here we can see system will be works on the battery so now i am owning this two and also we can see in the solar we can on this three bulbs so here we can see this three bulbs will be consider as a here we can see h means high load n means normal load and l means low load so now system is working working on the solar mode so we can on uh, using the switches we can on the all loads 
So we need to on the switches from low load to high load and we can see low, normal and high. So these three bulbs will be glow whenever the solar system is in on position. Now I am offing this one. Now uh, we are uh, not giving the solar uh, solar power to the grid uh, to the system. Now it we it we works on the uh, grid system. In the grid system, in the flowchart we see here. So whenever the peak value is S, high normal load will be works. So coming to this one. Now we so this is the peak switch. We can see here. So, whenever the peak value is S, so here we can see peak value is S, so high and normal loads are working, when we on the low load it is not on and off this one. So when we uh, peak value is no, so we can operate these three loads. Okay and high. So we can see these three bulbs will be on means these three loads will be works. And coming to the uh, battery now I am just uh, switch off this grid system and we can see here it is working on the battery uh, so system will be works on the battery. So whenever the solar voltage is not available is a, this whenever this three sources is not available so then it will be show as a no source will be available now I am on this uh, battery voltage so system will be works on the battery voltage so here we can see when the battery is more than 40 percent so we can see in the flow chart high a uh, normal low will be works Sorry, whenever the battery voltage is more than 40 percent, then low or normal and the high load will be works. So here we can see in the chart also. And now I am making the uh, battery uh, voltage as a more than 40 using this switch and have this one. Now we making high. So we can see here when the battery voltage is less than 40 percent these two will be works. So this is the less than percentage and now we making it is more than 40 percentage then we can on the three loads. So we can see if the voltage percentage more than 40 then these three loads will be on. So we can see when the voltage percentage is more than 40 so this uh, this three loads will be on and now we making this uh, off and also we can control this loads using our uh, bluetooth app so we can see this section so this uh, this uh, inverter will be connected to this battery so it is taking the uh, dc voltage and to convert into ac that ac will be given to this switch holder and this is the uh, HC0 of a Bluetooth model. So using this Bluetooth model we are controlling this three bulbs. So we have to go for the uh, Bluetooth settings to pair a new device. So here we can see HC0 for we need to go for this one. So it is asking the password. So password should be 1, 2, 3, 4. Then it will be connected. After that we need to go for the app. So this is an Android Bluetooth app. We need to go for this one. So in the this one we need to go for the connection. And this one we need to choose the HSC 05. So we need to go for the connection. And it is on. And if we on this one. So we can on all at the same time. And also we can off all. Same time. And we can on 1, 2, 
3 and 2 